Good morning from the UK. My name is David Sweeney. I head up some of the UK business development in the UK. So I'm here with a really great team of people. And um, so I just start running this through. This is me on a bike in uh, Brighton pretending to deliver pizza, but I actually wasn't delivering anything. I was only posing for the camera. Um, so yeah, my background is I was with Papa John's for several years, heading up the development for Europe. I was CEO of Easy Pizza, which was a portal for ordering pizzas through independent chains. And then I was consulting for in pizza, and that's how I discovered Dodo. And I really love Dodo Pizza. I think Dodo Pizza is amazing because of the innovation, the courage of, of taking on the big giants in the global market, and the people. And I also love franchising as a business model. I think it's a super good thing. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I, we have a fantastic team in the UK. We have a wonderful team of people here in the UK uh, in, in product development, marketing, general management, finance, product development. And we even have a dog. We like dogs in the UK. So we have a really wonderful team of people across all the functional areas. And we are now ready to start doing our thing. Um, I'm going to talk a little slowly because I know that not everybody is Irish and in Ireland we all talk at 100 kilometers a second. So I'll slow down and talk rather gently. The UK market is very big. Uh, it's a very big market. It's a super busy market. You will recognize some of the brands on here like Domino's and Papa John's and so forth. There are also several other international brands here as well as some really good homegrown brands. So you've got brands in there like Pizza Pilgrim, Maud is an international brand, Franco Manca is a really good local brand in the UK. And in local to us right in Leamington, we have Bertelli's and Basement Browns, two very good local brands that we have where we are. The market itself is huge, very difficult to quantify, but it's estimated to be worth in the region of £5 billion pounds sterling a year. So it's a very big market. Home delivery is growing. This pie chart you see here is pre-COVID, where 23% of the market was being delivered to people's homes. That actually has moved out to more like 50 or 60% in the height of the, of the shutdown. And so that's been a huge area for us. Home delivery is really growing across the, every sector in the UK. The big chains dominate the home delivery sector. So like Domino's, Papa John's and so forth, they dominate that. They have about 2,000 stores between Papa John's, Domino's and Pizza Hut, and they take about 50% of the delivery market. So I'll give you a bit of an idea. I have a couple of slides coming up here. One is buzz and tr both of them are buzz and trends. But one of some of the buzz and trends, firstly here is about the buzz and trends in the consumer. And the next one is about buzz and trends in the franchise community. And the buzz and trends for consumer, consumer expectation really. I'm going to show you on the left column we have the main buzz and trends, and I believe what our answer is to that on the right-hand side. So, for example, service is one of the absolute key things. Service levels are huge. People expect when they order something for it to be delivered on time, in good condition, and uh, you know, and and to be accurate for the order to be accurate. We believe we can really do that with Dodo IS and the handheld app on 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 on, on iPhones and so forth, and the delivery models that we're using. So that service is going to be really massively important for us. Menu is very important as well. Uh, we want to differentiate ourselves from the rest of the market, and I think we are doing that with the new Roman style pizza that we're bringing in, which also has the added benefit of arguably being a healthier product. So we're going to be launching this product and a little bit more on that. I will show you some photographs of the development in a few seconds. Authenticity is really, really important as well. Traceability of food from field to fork is really important. So having really high quality ingredients and really good partners with this. So the, the menu development team have done a superb job in identifying really high quality products that develop uh, create a wonderful end product, but not only that, but also uh, are doing it in a sustainable way. Environmental uh, issues are also important for the consumer, and we're trying to work with as many local people as we possibly can with supplies. Particularly in Leamington, right in the, in the middle of England, we've got some great cheese suppliers. So we're going to be working some very creative uh, menus from their, from their wonderful ingredients. Franchising <clears throat> is a great business model, and, uh, and it's very popular in the UK. The main thing for us is, is, is commercial viability. I want to be able to turn around and look a franchise partner or potential franchise partner in the eye and say, yeah, we have proven that this concept works, and we're doing that by our corporate store lead. So we're leading in Leamington, plus a few more stores in the first half of next year. So 
we're going to be really doing that. <clears throat> with the new model we have, there's full scalability, because most franchise partners, when they come along, they want to open one store, but really they want to open up six, eight, or ten stores. And if they're in a large town or city, say, for example, like Nottingham, they want to own the whole town. So they want to be able to scale up rapidly to amortize the cost of their marketing. So that's going to be a really important thing for us. Marketing innovation, we really are in a new place called Fast Gourmet, and we'll, I'll show you what we mean by that in a few seconds. And um, we, have, we really own the marketing space. That's one of the great advantages we have with our in-house team in the UK and our in-house team in, in Russia to be able to develop really strong marketing messages using social media. Another great thing from a franchising point of view is there are no hidden costs. Once you pay the initial fee and you open the store, there it is. You pay, you pay a royalty, and that's the ongoing charge. We're not charging people for online ordering and all sorts of other hidden charges that people uh, get involved with in this business. So we're keeping it very, very simple and very clean. Proven systems and processes. Now, this is super important because from uh, environmental health officers, when they go approving a store, one of the things they like to see is properly documented um, processes and procedures for hygiene and work methodologies and so on. And so do franchise partners because they want to be able to see that they can hire staff and train staff and get the right results. It also gives us huge credibility and gives our potential franchise partners huge credibility with the banking institutions when they want to go and uh, borrow money. So that's where we are. So in the UK, I mentioned Fast Gourmet. <clears throat> so what is Fast Gourmet? Well, if I break this down a little bit, these are some of the people we all know and recognize. So Fast Food, and we've got Fast Casual Brands in there. Fast Gourmet is where we're sitting, right there with Pinza. And then to our right, we have the more gourmet ones where you go in and you dine in and, and it's a very special occasion. So we're giving people a really superb product where we're giving it to them in, 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 in speed. You know, we're using speed to get it to them. So it's fast and it's gourmet. Now, what do we mean by that? menu is all important. We're actually inspired by what happened and what was done in China. The international development of the product in China is very inspirational for us in the UK. And I think this is the, the future for us. Uh, so you can see some of the photographs there. Some of those are from China. Some of them are from the UK. So we're developing the dough and the toppings and so forth here. And we're um, we're breaking the mold. You know, pizza doesn't have to be round. We're repositioning the classics, which is fine. We're going to have, you know, margarita and, and pepperoni, these popular products. But in addition to that, we're also going to do some exotic things. Like, for example, at the test kitchen last week, we had a lobster and mango pizza. There you go. Didn't have that in the West of Ireland when I was growing up, but it's a fantastic product. Now, Leamington, and you know, the store innovation design is super duper important. We really need to get this right. Our, pro our store is going to be, I think, the nicest pizza store in Leamington Spa. It's going to look absolutely superb. And this store is designed to have super fast production, really, really super fast production, optimizing labor, which is very important uh, for the profitability of our stores in the UK. Now, this building, you can see from the drawing, it's a multi-purpose building because we'll be able to have all our dough baking facility in there. We'll have the hot shop for finishing off uh, the pizzas for the consumer. We also have a consumer tasting facility and, and a marketing area where people can come along and have meeting rooms and so forth. And uh, we can also use that meeting room for training for franchise partners where everything is under the one roof. So this is a, a, a building around about 160 square meters and we're using every square meter of that to maximize the effectiveness of the building and, and, and with multi-purpose uh, functionality there. Leamington itself is a lovely town. <clears throat> it's a very significant market town. And it's got a mixed population. We selected it deliberately because it's a very stable town in that there's a lot of working people there. But we also get a, a rise of student population in the winter months. And uh, in total, we can probably reach about 100,000 people within a 10-minute drive time of the store. So we're very happy with that. And we will grow into that space over the first six months of the store being there. Leamington itself is a very... Very social town, lots, there's a big cafe culture, lots of people dine out for coffee and chat, and there's always movement, which is really positive. And uh, I think we're going to really avail uh, of, of that culture in the business. And we're right in the middle of the town. We're in a beautiful location right in the middle of the town. You see some of the slides in there. We use a company called GeoBlink for doing a marketing analysis of the, of the whole location for us, which has been very, very successful for us to help us with our demographic mapping. With this here, we can see the customer experience is going to be really important for us. So the gourmet menu, electronic ordering, eco-friendly delivery, all of those things are really good, including a good wine and beer menu, 
in what we're doing. This is a restaurateur you may or may not have heard of, a man called Terence Conran, who ran Corvinos in London. He was a, he is a really top designer, and he said good design is probably 98% common sense. But above all, an object must function well and efficiently. And getting that part right requires a good deal of time and attention. And that's where this next slide comes in. Because here we have Dimitri and Oleg and Katrina driving things uh, from the Moscow office. And we are, we are ready to go on site. We're going to start construction in a week, a week today, handing it back over around the 19th of November. Very tight project management. We've got over 50 work streams, lots of things. And those of you who have opened stores know exactly where we are right now. Lots of things going on all at the same time, hoping to keep everybody COVID safe and keep the project on track and then also keep it within budget. Once we have done that, we take a big sigh of relief, have a Christmas pudding, and then we go on to 2021. And you can see there Leamington Spa highlighted in orange or circled in orange. And we've got three other towns that I'm looking at for corporate development. Cheltenham is very similar to um, Leamington, but it's a bigger town. Uh, Banbury and Stratford are also nearby. So there are two really significant towns for us. And next year, we'll also open up our first new concept franchise partners stores. So new concept with new franchisees next year. And then beyond that, we're really looking at the major cities, London, Birmingham, Manchester, really trying to open up these large cities across the UK. And uh, that'll be done partially with franchise partners and partly with us as corporate development. And that's it from the UK. I hope you have a great day when you're in the UK. Look us up and uh, we will buy you a pizza and a coffee. Thank you. <laughs>